Hey guys, it's Mayberry, and today I'm gonna be recreating the look that I did for my senior picture retakes. Um, I'm gonna really focus on the eyes, and then I'm gonna pretty much do I'm gonna do most of my face off camera. But when I get to concealer, I do have a product to tr to try out, so we're gonna do that. You know, a little bit of a first impressions. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by priming my eyelids with the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Tap that out with my finger. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go ahead and set that with air spun with my um, Lexi brush. Today I'm going to be using the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette, looks like this, and to start off I'm going to go in with my big fluffy blending brush that I'm just going to clean off whatever color I had on there last. And I'm going to go in with the shade Admire, just that one right there. Okay, and now next I'm gonna go in with the big fluffy blending brush from the Alamar Cosmetics Brush Trio. Cleaning off whatever shade I had on there last. And I think I'm gonna go in with a romance, just the shade. Very last shade in that top row.
I'm gonna go in with that very first brush just to make sure everything is blended. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna go in with sort of like flat blending brush. Clean off whatever color I used last from it. Alrighty. And now we're gonna go in with the shade Jealousy, which is this one. It's the one right underneath Romance. And I'm only gonna put this on my outer corners. I'm gonna stamp it. to slowly build this up. And once we get it to about where you want it, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do back and forth blending moments. Try and keep that as far to the outer corner as possible. You should get something like this. Same thing on the other side. Alrighty, so you should get something like this. Now, now I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush and that eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to do a half cut crease with it. Alrighty, and now I want to go back in with the flat blender and just a little bit more jealousy and blend that line. So it's not so harsh. Now I'm going to go in with this small flat shader brush from the Alamar Cosmetics Trio. Again, just taking off whatever color I used on it last. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Tease, which is that one right there. 
And I'm gonna put that right on top of that eyeshadow primer. And you wanna pack, not swipe. And then once you get it all laid out, you want to go and blend between the line of that and Jealousy, just so it blends a little bit more. Then do the same thing on the other eye. So this is what you should have, something like this. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that brush that you used Jealousy in and just tap in once to Jealousy. Shake off a little bit of the excess and then go ahead and blend that line even more between the two. This helps to create that very seamless blend between the two colors. You have to, you can go back and re-intensify the shimmer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. Today I'm gonna be using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen in the shade black. I'm just gonna do a thin line right at my lash line. It should look like that. Apparently, because I bumped it, I had to make it thicker than I was hoping for. So go back and even it out. Alrighty. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and clean up under my eyes. And then I'm gonna apply primer and foundation and I'll be right back on camera to do concealer. Alrighty. So my foundation is on. So I want to talk about this product before I go ahead and put on my concealer. This is the Ample Cosmetics Heart Makeup Blender. It's like one of those silicone type blenders. But it's heart shaped. It has this little divot in the back. I'm assuming your finger to go. Now the back of this box says this unique silicone applicator has the texture of your very own finger. Use the Ample Heart Blender to blend makeup below the eye. This blender will help avoid the buildup of makeup. Yes, we want to help you avoid those under eye wrinkles. Now, I found this at um, this store called Gabe's. It's very similar to like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. Um, and it was in their like cosmetics section. Um, they had a bunch of them actually. 
that were on clearance for a dollar but I've had this for at least a month now and I just haven't gotten around to making a video on it like I wanted to so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today I'm gonna be using the Sephora make no mistake high coverage concealer in the shade 01 and I'm just gonna do a couple dots of this under my eye Oh, that one side got really close together. It wasn't spread out. Okay. Alrighty. So, I mean, it doesn't really have any instructions on how to use it. So, I'm kind of just going to go in and use it sort of like a beauty sponge where I'm going to dab. Okay. So, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that because it is silicone it is a little harder than a beauty sponge so you do have to tap lighter underneath the eyes i mean but like this concealer is full coverage and like i can't see anything Ooh, but one thing i'm noticing is this uh it emphasizes my pores okay I don't know if you can tell, but like, can you see like right there where all of my pores are like emphasized? Alrighty. So, like this definitely works for blending. Like, not gonna lie. But. I don't know, I just, the pores though, man, like, they are so real in this already. I'm going to actually do the other side with um, my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm going to see if we can tell the difference. The two. Okay, so definitely right off the bat, um, there is a difference in coverage. This side is definitely covered more than this side. Like you can still see the darkness peeking through up in this inner corner, which is where I get the most um, darkness is right up in there. But there is no sign of my pores on this side. I don't know if you guys are really seeing it. Okay. I mean, for a dollar, it's not bad. But personally, I don't think it's anything I'm really going to ever use again. Um, I actually like have to go over this side with my sponge to see if I can get those pores to go away. But I think it's not too late for that. Okay. So, for the girl... Who wants like full, 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 full coverage on her face? Definitely would use this. But being said that, you have to use a pore filling primer. Like, there's no doubt about that. So, I mean, I guess for a dollar, it's not bad. Personally, I won't grab for it over, like, a beauty sponge, beauty blender, whatever. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup off camera, and I'll be back to finish my eye makeup. Alrighty, guys. My face makeup is done. Now to quickly finish off the eyes. Alrighty, so... First, I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Kashuk little brush. Oh, no. 
cleaning off any of the excess shadow that's on it. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Jealousy. Same one that we put on our inner corner. But I wanna keep this as close to my lower lash line as possible. Okay, now I'm going to go into the last of the LMR Cosmetics um, brush trio, the last brush. It's like this. And I'm going to go in with a little bit Admire, it's that transition shade we first used, and I'm going to blend out Jealousy. This you can bring down a little bit lower. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the blending brush from Alamar Cosmetics. I don't want to put any more product on it, just whatever is left on here, and I want to blend that out even more. Now I'm going to put some liner in my waterline. I'm going to go in with the Make It Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in the shade. Mm -hmm. M10. It's the black one. something in my eye. I think I got it. Now I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to use the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. As you guys probably know by now, one of my faves.
that is done. Now I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 245 small shader brush. I'm gonna, you know, clean off whatever color was left on there. And I'm gonna go in with the same highlight that I put on my face, which is the Becca X Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Protector. And I'm gonna apply this to my inner corner and brow bone. Now I'm gonna finish it off with my lips. Um, I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Family Jewels. Cause I really want a warm dark brown. This is the final look. What do you guys think? Alrighty. Um, let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section below. Um, everything that I used will, well, the eye products will be in the lip will be um in the description box down below um i think that's it you know make sure you like this video and subscribe and see you guys in my next video bye